Hi everybody, Briquette here showing all 16 time trials in LEGO City Undercover. We get the land toast by beating the time trial in Cherry Tree Hills by the police station. For most of these time trials or races, I recommend you get these two red bricks. Nitrous for All, which allows you to use the left button for more speed on almost any motorized land vehicle, and the Longer Speed Boost, which makes the nitrous last a little longer. And the Super Ram red brick is great for ramming other cars out of the way when you're in a hurry. Like that. <laughs> The Super Ram Red Brick is in my Red Bricks for Power video. The Nitrous for All and the Longer Boost Red Bricks are in my 9 Red Bricks for Speed video. I'll link both of those videos in the description. And if you have annotations turned on, you should see cards in the top right corner linking to them. This next arrow looks like it's pointing up the hill, but we actually have to go to the right. You can build this ramp before you do this race, but you don't have to to unlock it. The timestamps of all the time trials are in the description of this video. The Lantos cost 25,000 studs. The brawn is from the time trial in Auburn by the docks. Thanks to Culinary Cats, Chase McCain, Pizza Boy, Kunda Gangs, Itzy Sean, and Francisco English for requesting this video. You have discovered a hidden vehicle time trial challenge. The brawn costs a thousand studs. Cool, it's a forklift. We get the wrath by beating the time trial on the Auburn Bay Bridge. It's way at the northern end of the bridge, close to the Fort Meadows train station. So you could fast travel up there and then go down to the bridge. But I'll just drive up there since I haven't built the train station of Fort Meadows in this safe game. 
and I'll cut out the long part of the bridge. <laughs> There's that super ram red brick in action! <laughs> I'll cut out this long part of the bridge. Since I just discovered it, it now shows up on the map. Dragster is fun to drive, except on the railroad tracks. <laughs> that arrow should show a U-turn. The wrath costs 500,000 studs. Wow. It's very cool though. Need more room to generate vehicle. How weird. It looks like there's plenty of room. Well, let's try over here. There's actually less room here though. Well, that worked. We get the armadillo with the Fort Meadows time trial near the pig farm. No, that'll be fine. I did a handbrake turn because I kept sliding into those stairs down there. If you go flying off this hill, it'll probably shoot you to the left and way past where you need to turn right. So I just go off the cliff to the right, like that.
We have to make a sharp left after the second round. You can kind of steer to the left while you're in the air. Not that that would make any difference in real life. The armadillo costs 5,000 studs. We get the old Sterk from doing a hidden time trial in Bluebell next to the vehicle robber arrested mission by the pier. Getting near it unlocks the race. But don't get in the back or you won't go anywhere. <laughs> I like this version of the race, which I did in my heavy vehicles video, but I redid it to get the correct number. The Oldster costs 15,000 studs. try that again somewhere away from the water The time trial for the tracker will be right here after we unlock it by building the stunt ramp super build over there. To unlock the time trial for the tracker, build the stunt ramp super build in Bluebell National Park. sits here for a long time, but I cut out most of it. And we have to discover it.
This tracker was so squirrely, I had to go slow in order to control it, so I sped up this race. The tracker costs 500 studs. We get Chan's iron back by doing the time trial by the Serenity Bridge in Bluebell National Park. I use the nitrous boost with the left button whenever I can. I show how to get the nitrous for all and longer vehicle boost red bricks in my 9 red bricks for speed video which I'll link in the description. Chan's iron back costs 50,000 studs. You can find the time trial for the Vor bike at the LEGO City Airport after you build the stunt ramp super build. You'll need at least 10,000 bricks to build it. There are super bricks that you can get, mostly in the front of the airport. Oh. 
We get lots of studs for this, plus the pilot character token and a gold brick. Now when we get back over there, the time trial should be there. Sorry, it's an emergency. I thought we also had to build the loop-de-loop -loop to unlock the race for the Vorbike, but we actually only need to build the stunt ramp. I'm parking over here to stay out of the path of the race. The race doesn't show up until we get close to it. You have discovered a hidden vehicle time trial challenge. There are other time trials that don't show up until you build a ramp also, like the one in Paradise Sands. And there are some time trials that you might want to do before you build a giant super build like the Ride Downtown. It starts you out facing the wrong direction. <laughs> I tried to straighten it out while driving, but that doesn't really work. I'm driving the roar car to get the Vore bike. That's gonna need repairing. I'm using my two nitrous red bricks, which help a little, but you don't really need it for this race. Hold the left button to use the nitrous red bricks. The red bricks are called nitrous for all, which lets you go faster in any vehicle, and longer vehicle boots. Both of those are in my 9 red bricks for speed video. Come on. Just barely skimmed that one. The Vore costs 1,000 studs. I like her. You get the galleon after you do the time trial in the water at the southern end of Paradise Sands, just north of this special assignment, and it's hidden until you get near it. Whoa! Oh no! and it just showed up on the map. Try not to get on the sand or you'll get stuck. I'm using a nitrous for all red brick. It doesn't seem to be doing much except making him vibrate a lot. <laughs>
If you haven't ridden the roller coaster yet, you can get the crazy scientist when you go up the ramp. Why is the world up? I have to move away from the water before spawning the galleon so it doesn't fall in the water. The galleon costs 10,000 studs. Now I'll go get the muncher. We get the muncher by doing one of the time trials in Fresco down here by the pier. We need to build the ramp in the southern part of Paradise Sands before this time trial will show up. cream truck. <laughs> We've discovered a hidden vehicle time trial challenge. The Muncher in Fresco. That was a mistake. This is an emergency. That sounded expensive. Whoa. Oh, we discovered it again. the left button to get it to straighten up.
The muncher costs 5,000 studs. We get the squad mobile by doing the other time trial right next to the pier. It's a hidden one also, so we have to discover it for it to show up here and on the map. The squad mobile costs 15,000 studs. The taxi cab time trial is in the back corner of King's Court.
The taxi cab cost 10,000 studs. Be spending my day I need a doing something more constructive. The race for the Atlas worker vehicle is right here by the ferry when you first get to Apollo Island. Be careful not to hit the patches of land, because it's really hard to recover from that. The Atlas costs 3,000 studs. <laughs> That's where the cocoon will be after we unlock it. Classic Alien Character Token. Thank you. 
So we have to do all this before we'll see the time trial for the cocoon on the pier. This was the hardest one for me because it's such a wobbly truck. I think the Nitrous for All and Longer Vehicle Boost Red Bricks really help. I just used it on the straightaways. This is a really sharp turn, but I overdid it. The clock ticking gets louder when you're running out of time. Get to the next checkpoint as fast as you can and it'll give you a few more seconds. I kept going off the side here on my other tries. Finally got the cocoon! Yay! The cocoon costs 10,000 studs. We get the Draconis from beating the time trial downtown. M. Raju asked me to suggest doing the time trial before building the Ferris wheel. It's doable, but much easier without the Ferris wheel in the way. I built it first, the first time I did this race, and it made it harder. And now it's on the map. If the car flips over because the ferris wheel was in the way, hit the left button to flip it up right. The first time I did this race, I got stuck in the water here. Then when I redid it, I way overcompensated for it.
The Draconis cost 15,000 studies. the Redeemer on Lady Liberty Island. We can get to the island from the southern part of downtown. The first time we go to the island, Rex Fury needs to pull on the strength handles on a box right here and build this teleport for the astronaut. The race, or time trial, is right around the bend from here. race was a little tough because of all the quick turns and things to run into, so I was very careful. But they give you enough time to finish it. So slow and controlled is a good idea for this one. Turn. If you want to get all the vehicles, I recommend getting all the vehicle robbers arrested, vehicle robberies completed, and the time trials. <laughs> and 31 of the super builds unlock ground vehicles. The rest unlock characters and flying vehicles. Also, there are about two vehicles in every special assignment. And then there are about 5 or 10 vehicles that you run into while doing other things or are just plain hidden. <laughs> the Redeemer costs 10,000 studs. Another way to get to Lady Liberty Island is by air. As I got close to the island, the race appeared on the minimap. I was playing an early version of my game, and I was just flying around the island and I saw the prompt come up to jump to a car, and I saw the race there. So I hit the top button and it put me right in the driver's seat. And we get the Speedster Trophy or Achievement for completing all the time trials. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, which I really appreciate. And subscribe to see when I upload new videos. And I'll see you next time.